So the next modify tool or modify command will be the fillet or fillet. Okay, can be invoked in the modify panel in the ribbon. Okay, or you can simply type in letter F. Okay, that's the keyboard shortcut of fillet. Okay, so let's draw uh, some objects. Okay, so let's say I would draw a horizontal line. Okay. And then another vertical line that doesn't intersect. Okay. Now I will invoke the uh, fillet tool. Okay. So you notice I'll just select this first line or either which of the two. Let's say this one, vertical line. And then selecting the horizontal line. Okay. I haven't clicked or select the second object. Okay, you notice that they will meet, okay, uh, to each other, okay, and forms a sharp corner, okay, so I'll just select this one, okay, so I'll just undo, so let's draw another one, okay, this time, uh, two intersecting lines, let's say this one. Okay. Now I will uh, use the fillet or fillet tool. Okay. I select the first object, either which. So let's say this one. Okay. Notice on this intersection, uh, you have two sides. Okay. Uh, between this cutting edge. Okay. And also from this cutting edge or this line, you have two sides, the upper and the lower. So let's say I'll just select on the left side. Okay, select this one. Okay, and then I'll select the second one. Okay, so you notice the uh, intersection, okay, becomes uh, a vertex, okay, or simply a connecting point. Okay, so it's either above, okay, or below this selected line. Notice that uh, either which is deleted or removed let's say this one okay uh, the corner of this one or this excess line and this one are removed okay also if i'm going to move my crosshair here notice that the line that is extended okay beyond this selected line is removed also from this boundary to be removed okay so depending on your selection so let's try this one okay so if I'm going to undo that one, okay, so I'll just use fillet tool or fillet tool, select this one, okay, and I'm going to select this one, okay, depending on the size of your selection, okay, uh, these are called uh, sharp corners, okay, um, okay, now for round corners, okay, I'll just invoke uh, fillet tool, okay, enter and then before selecting any objects okay i could select the radius tool here or option here or i'll just type in r okay and then enter and then let's say i would provide a radius of five okay and then enter and then i'll just select now this uh, vertical line and the other uh, line okay notice that the corner becomes a round corner okay so every time you use uh, fillet now so the radius provided is five otherwise if you change that value okay depending on the needs on your drawing so let's say I just type in our draw lines okay and then I'll just fillet and then radius of 20 let's say enter Okay, the new radius of that fillet now, okay, as specified here is now 20. So let's select this one and then this one. Okay, so let's try another one. Okay, so that's it. Enter and then I just use the fillet and then radius. What if I inputted a larger value of radius, let's say 1000, okay, and then enter. So I'll just select this one and then this one. Okay, so notice invalid and in the command line, 
okay delay radius is too large meaning to say that the length of this line and this line doesn't fit the uh, corner round corner of 1000 radius okay so you need to make sure to use the appropriate radius when using the round delay corners let's say uh, 30 okay enter the select this one and then that one okay so try exploring the fillet tool okay and you need to practice them so this is one of the important tool used in uh, autocad